Hi, this is Graham Helfrich, Technical Advisor Manager for the Engineering Software here at IHS Market. Welcome to the weekly Did You Know episode where we learn how to do something of value that you probably didn't know about your IHS Market engineering software. Today, we're going to talk about a very new and very exciting solution in Harmony Enterprise called Scenarios. Did you know that you can clone a well to allow multiple people on your team to easily make their own interpretation of a well in Harmony Enterprise? That's exactly what Scenarios lets you do. Let's check it out. So let's talk about the problem. This is Old Harmony from 2016. One of the big headaches with this software was people sometimes tried to share it like it was a multi-user file and it's not really meant for that. So this old Harmony, it's kind of like people trying to share a Word document. Whoever saves last when they're in this file wins and overwrites any work someone else who is in there was trying to do. This was a big headache for engineers and to solve this, we came up with this new software called Harmony Enterprise, which has the option to be a multi-user platform using a SQL database. Now here in Harmony Enterprise, with it being a multi-user environment, a whole nother set of challenges came along. What I mean is if I'm analyzing this well here and I finish my analysis, someone else might come into this shared project and they might change my interpretation. Or if they're really nice, they'll add a new worksheet for the same well and just rename their analysis tab with their name. And you can see how this could get really cluttered in this one well if we have dozens of engineers trying to share this well in Harmony Enterprise. But did you know that there's a Scenarios button right here? When you click on it, this well is going to be totally cloned. Okay, and I'm going to rename this scenario Graham's Analysis. And you can see that it's cloned all of the worksheets, or maybe I want to just clean this up and start from scratch. Now at the same time, or maybe even later in the day, my colleague, maybe in this multi-user Harmony Enterprise project, they want to analyze this particular well, so they can add a scenario, either copying my analysis or the master well. And they can rename this with their own name. Now anyone sharing this multi-user project is able to see all of these scenarios if they want to. You can see how much nicer this is to let anyone put their own flavor of analysis on this particular well. Now later, if Graham and Julia are discussing whose interpretation may be better, we can easily right click and promote Julia's analysis to the master well. And that's basically switching what was the master well, which will now become a scenario. And we can always change this back at any point in time. Now I mentioned that these scenarios are carbon copies of the original well. And that's true, except for the well's production history. If I go to Graham's scenario here, I can see under the production editor that I'm not able to modify any of the historical volumes. Only in the master well can the production history be modified. So for engineers who want to use Harmony Enterprise with this multi-user option, this is a great way to have the freedom to make your own interpretations in the project. A second way to use scenarios is as an engineering sandbox to play in. So what if we want to know the impact of changing our wellbore pressure loss correlation on our bottom hole pressure and how that might impact our RTA interpretation? All right, so we'll take this well. Right now we're using the Hagerdorn and Brown pressure loss correlation in the wellbore. We can add a scenario. And I might rename this to single phase 
gas pressure loss correlation. I'm in the scenario. I'll change my pressure loss correlation. I can do my bottom hole flowing pressure calculation. I see that my calculated sample pressures are different. And if I'd already completed the model in the master well, I can see now how my pressure loss match may differ in my model, in my flowing material balance, etc. So this is a quick way to do sensitivities on things like pressure loss correlations or really any input in the production editor except for the historical rates and, and surface flowing pressures can be sensitized on. So what if we have low confidence in our bubble point pressure? Well, let's do a sensitivity on that. I'm on the master well, I'm going to clone it. Increase my bubble point pressure. I can go to my FMB, see how that changes if I enable multi-phase. Or if I go to my numerical model that I had previously history matched in the master well, I can see with that new bubble point pressure how that might change my history match. All right, these are just a couple of the many ways and sensitivities you can do things by cloning the well and doing these sensitivities. Another big one I've seen is changing the assumed water or oil saturation in the reservoir. So really, what does this mean for you? Well, one, it means now you can share your Harmony Enterprise project with your teammates in a multi-user way. And you don't have to worry about stepping on each other's toes. You can each have your own interpretation of the well making your own analysis. Secondly, now you've got this great sandbox. The ability to quickly clone your well, like I've shown you here, lets you perform these sensitivities and play around with different interpretations without the worry of affecting your master well. And that's it. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please be sure to contact me and make sure to subscribe to be notified of next week's Did You Know episode.